hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to save image files into MySQL PHP my admin database and here we got the final output of that code we got the file upload control and one button control I'm selecting the file the image I'm selecting the bike one save image and here we got a message file bike one dot jpg saved successfully let's check the database is this bike one dot jpg saved or not I'm browsing the table save image browse and here we got the results the image id is one the image name is bike1.jpg image type is jpeg and the image path is a blob if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates now before writing the coding part to save the files into php my admin database table let's create a new table in this sample db database SQL create table save image is a table name the columns are image ID which is an integer type auto increment column and I'm adding primary key comma image name var card 100 image type which is the image type which is nothing but the jpg or gif or png what are the image types are the data type is varchar 100 comma and the last one is the image path i'm using long blob let's create this save image table click go and here the table is created successfully let's browse the table save image right now in this save image table contains zero rows now let's start the coding part to save the image files into this save image table for this video tutorial i'm creating a new asp.net web application go to file new project I'm choosing ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the project name is image save mysql blog click ok and from the templates I'm choosing empty click ok and here the project is successfully created let's open solution explorer now in this project I am adding one web form page right click the project name add new item I am choosing web form the web form name is save image mysql add and here we got the source page of this save image mysql.aspx page now between the form tag I'm adding one center tag h1 how to save image files into mysql php my admin database h2 asp.net C sharp. Let's add the horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding three controls. One is a file upload control, and the second one is a button control to save the files into a database. And the third one is a label control to display the message is the image saved successfully or not. Let's add those controls. So open toolbox, file upload control. The next control is the button control toolbox button control 
I'm changing the button text. The value is save image mg break. I'm adding one label control toolbox label control. And from the label control, I'm deleting the property text from the label. That's it, we have done that designing part. Let's switch to the design mode. Double click the button control. And here we got the button click event. Let's add the namespaces using system dot data using system dot configuration and the third namespace we have to add the mysql dll library but in asp.net the mysql dll library is not available in our references folder open solution explorer i'm expanding the references folder notice there is no any mysql dll library Let's add the manage nugget packages. Click that one. Select the browse and the search for MySQL. From the search results, I'm choosing the first option MySQL.data. And the version I'm installing 8.0.12 install. I accept and here we got the message in the output successfully install mysql.data the version is 8.0.12 and also notice here is the tick mark which means this library is installed in our project let's close this output message switch to the code behind and also let's check the mysql.data is added in our references project folder now we need to add the mysql connection string in the web.config file open solution explorer again i'm minimizing the references folder the last option web.config file open that one in the web.config file inside the configuration i'm adding connection strings and name is equals to my connection I'm giving my connection string name is my connection connection string data source data source is equals to localhost semicolon port is equals to the port number is Notice in PHP my admin double three zero six is a port number. Let's add that one double three zero six semicolon initial catalog. The next parameter catalog is equals to the initial catalog is a database name which is sample db. semicolon user id is equals to the user id name is a root semicolon password is equals to and in the password if you don't have any pass just leave it like that but if you have a password please enter that one and the last one we need to add the ssi SSL mode is equals to none. That's it. We have added the MySQL connection string in the web.config file. Let's switch over to the code behind. Now let's add the MySQL connection string namespace using MySQL dot data dot MySQL client. After adding these three namespaces. In the last namespace, I am adding using system.io namespace because we are using the file upload control. Now, in the button click event string, image name is equals to 
path dot get file name and this get file name takes a parameter as a string path and that file name path we are getting from the file upload control file upload one dot posted file dot file name string image type the type of the image whether it's a jpg or png or gif files file upload one dot posted file dot content type stream sm is equals to file upload one dot posted file dot input stream I'm adding binary reader br is equals to new binary reader I'm reading the binary the stream sm here byte array bytes is equals to br dot read bytes sm dot length we need to add this length type is the integer type int 32 that's it up to now we have gathered the selected file information string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection string between double code between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is my connection dot connection string my SQL connection I'm adding the object new my SQL connection takes this main count object string SQL query is equals to now here the SQL query I'm adding the insert statement insert into the table name is save image copy this one paste here and the column names are the image ID which is auto generated column so I'm not adding that one image name image type and the last column is the image path values at image name at image type at image path my SQL command SQL com is equals to new my SQL command this my SQL command takes two parameters one is the SQL query I'm adding here and the second one is the connection object which is the SQL com let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method SQL com dot parameters dot add with value add with value takes two parameters the first parameter is a string parameter name which is the image name copy this one between double quotes I'm adding the image name comma and the second one is the object value the image name object is the image name only this one Paste here. Let's copy this. Paste here. Image type. The second column name. I'm adding the image type. Object. The last one is the image path. And here the object is the bytes.
SQL com dot execute non query method. Let's close the connection string SQL con dot close method. If the record is saved successfully, I want to display the message for that I have used the level one control level one dot text is equals to five. successfully between this plus plus I'm adding the image name that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results on the browser Google Chrome and here we got the final output of that code we got the file upload control and one button control. I'm selecting the file, the image I'm selecting, the bike one, save image. And here we got a message file bike1.jpg saved successfully. Let's check the database. Is this bike1.jpg saved or not? I'm browsing the table save image browse and here we got the results the image ID is one the image name is bike1.jpg image type is jpeg and the image path is a blob that's it